Okay, so back here is where we have some of the scraps and sort of smaller pieces, and these are all rabbit fur, right? Yep. Is everything rabbit fur, or, and this looks like the leather, these are the leather pieces for the moccasins. Yep. Where do you get the leather from? We order from Winnipeg. Okay, so it's not from like caribou. <laughs> I thought everything was from caribou. That's our lining. Okay, got it so soft. And this is sheepskin. And sheep is probably local. You probably get sheep no, around here. No, we order it too. Oh, you do? Okay, so you have to get everything in from Winnipeg. That's gets expensive yeah. now with the taxes and so forth. This is our cutter. I'm going to put it on. Oh, how cool. <laughs> it stands out everything. Instead of cutting by hand. Oh my god, that's awesome. And it's so precise. So you obviously know that's whatever, size 11 it looks like, or something. We have all our dyes here. It. So what size are we stamping out right now? Nine. Size nine men, it looks like. Ladies nine. This is a ladies nine. So you have to do two for a pair. It's that quick, huh? Yeah. Um, yeah. That's blue fox there. This one? I'm sorry, this blue is, fox? This is blue fox. This one. God, it's beautiful. Oh my this God. This is seal. <gasps> that is so soft. Seal not as soft, but pretty. <laughs> It's pretty. Okay, Seal, I think the blue fox wins. Oh my God, that is so soft. God, that's just stunning. So it's really quick to make the bottoms of them and then these are the inside, the liners, the liners to them. Huh. And back here, I'm sorry, you said are the dyes. The dyes for, because obviously the moccasins come in different colors. Yeah, you different sizes. Okay. For mitts and gauntlets. Huh. What's your name? Josie. <laughs> Josie? I'm Renee. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. And then um, this is the liner too up here? That's the thinner stuff for local ladies. So they pencil. They'd rather use that. Not for moccasins though, for something it else. For oh, it's for moccasins as well. Do you have... The room is a tufting room. I'll show you. Okay. I don't know a lot about tufting, but I'm about to learn. <laughs> this is such a caribou hair sculpturing. Oh, okay. And this is the uh, Is it glue is it glued on? This one is glued, yeah. And this was tufting we have to sew. So the barrettes, I saw some barrettes out there like that. That was done using tufting as well. Yeah. Similar kind of thing. So it's actually a lot stronger than it looks. Mm-hmm. Huh. They dye different colors really pretty actually. I saw them on some of the moccasins as well. Yeah, and this is a sculpture. There's Old a polar hair. bear. If anyone hasn't noticed, we are in the north of Canada. <laughs> See, these are all the different like barrettes. Okay, yeah, the barrettes are great actually. How long did it take to make these? I'm not sure. The other ladies make them and they come in and sell them. Huh. And this is uh, nose hair. It's more coarse. And where do you, do you fly this in from as no, well? It's local. I was going to say, moose hair has to be local. Yeah. God, it feels so fine. This is fish. So you get a lot of moose up here? <gasps> yeah. Good. And what do you use the moose for? Is that also for? That's for the stems of the flowers. For the moccasins, and, and also I thought I saw some on the jackets out there as well, right? The stem work. Oh, that's moose hair. That's amazing. This is moose you would hair. This you is would caribou. You would never know. So this is caribou, f and that's moose hair. Oh my god, it's amazing. This is fish scale art. Oh, yeah, you never would know that's fish scales, but when you touch it... It's pretty obvious that it is. That's really pretty. These colors are natural colors, I would imagine, right? You're, you haven't dyed these? We buy those from somebody else. I think they dye those. 
because they almost look like they could be natural colors. At least the green teal ones do. God, I really love this mousse here. I could just jump in that and play in that. It, it is coarse, but it's still, it's sort of almost like, you know what it feels like to me right after you put too much conditioner in your hair and it has that sort of soft, silky feel? The caribou. I hate to admit it, but we ate caribou last night. I probably shouldn't admit that, but it was really good. <laughs> wow. The longer part is where the neck is. And what do you use the caribou for to make? Does that go on, I mean, I would imagine that could make scarves around coats? No, these are just leftover pieces from those. And what do you do with the leftovers? Uh, they sell them in bags in front. I see. In front of the store. I grew up in a town like this that had leather scraps and pieces and everything is closed now, but <laughs> it's great to see that you guys are still doing this. Do you have any I know that we've got some moccasins in the front, but do you have any back here that we can see? Mm, there's some made up there, the black ones. That she's working on. Oh, and caribou hair. Caribou hair? Just those ones are beaded ones. Oh, okay, yeah. There's a, a down pair right here, actually, right? There they go. It's beautiful. And the beadwork, where is the beadwork from? Local ladies. Oh, locals make them, okay. Some of them are local and you get them from These them. are beautiful. These are clearly girls. They look like girls, women's to me, for sure. Different colors Girl and ladies. there's yellow. And this is what? This right here. That's a thread. Because it looked, but it's making this. Or is oh, that? That's just to cover the thread. I see. I'm sorry. It okay, so that's up. actually stitching it together on the bottom side. Okay, very deceiving. And then this is the machine that is that is. Um, there's two different kinds, and there's one for rabbit, and there's one for leather. And the only difference you said is the size of the needle. Yeah. And she is in full gear over here making, <laughs> making some moccasins. That's what we do. Oh, they're so beautiful and they're so soft. You really can't see from the camera, but it's really super, super soft. I just want to touch them. <laughs> okay, she's making fun of me. <laughs> and if you're ever in doubt and think that we're, I don't know, in some small town in the United States, we really aren't. There's polar bears to prove it. Polar bears with snow in an August 2012 calendar. <laughs> Well, this is really fun. Thanks for letting me back into your parlor. Okay, you're welcome. <laughs> so I'm going to go out and buy my rabbit fur right now. <laughs> okay. Thanks so much. Yeah.